Welcome to the world of Group Home Riches, where you can achieve financial freedom while making a positive impact on society. Are you tired of working long hours for someone else? Do you dream of being your own boss and creating a better future for yourself and others? Look no further. With Group Home Riches, you can invest in real estate and provide a valuable service by offering safe and comfortable homes for individuals in need. The number one investment in real estate. And start building a better future for yourself and those around you. Let's make a difference together with Group Home Riches. Yeah, like I guess I've heard this before, the laws and the, you know, all this good stuff, which, you know, is like a never ending black hole. So I don't remember exactly how you guys popped up somewhere. I found you. I can't recall exactly, but uh, as soon as I seen it, I don't know, I thought it was very reasonable for, for what you get, which it is. Uh, the knowledge is great. So basically, I didn't really hesitate too much. I definitely wanted to learn more. Like, I really needed to know, like, how everything worked, which, man, I just followed it to a T, really. I just really studied it, you know, took all the advice. And yeah, man, I'm glad I did find it. <laughs> definitely. So what drove you to do it? You said you had friends in the business or, and it was just something that you kind of always in the back of your mind or what was the motivation? Yeah, so, so a little bit about me is, um, so I'm a recovery myself since 2010. I basically started very young, around 12 or 13, I started drinking and, you know, smoking weed. You know, I had a rough childhood, had a lot of anger built up, just hanging around the wrong crowds, got in a lot of trouble. By 13, I was actually uh, locked up for my first time in juvenile detention and it just progressed. So basically like through my teens, I was in and out of juvenile detention. I was in and out of county jail constantly. Just like the drugs progressed, my crimes progressed. That was just the life I was in. And uh, I graduated. I was in and out of these programs and out of halfway houses and out of all this stuff. Went to prison, really been in and out of the system. I probably lost 10 years to the system altogether. So I basically knew, like I knew you guys talking about different demographics and all that. Like I knew for a fact exactly the demographic I was going with because that was me, right? So. I know how these guys think and um, I could deal with these guys. I knew what it was that I wanted to do. Thank God today in my life is not like that. I got a beautiful family. Like, like I said, I got a lot of blessings in my life today. And it's all because, you know, I got sober and that's what I do today. I try to help these guys. So one of the first times I went to a meeting, I got, I didn't have anything. I was, I had a backpack, dead broke. And the guy picked me up every day for like 30 days, he had a brand new Lexus, he had a family, he had a house. I was like, how does this guy, like, how does this even happen? Like, I had no idea how to get these things, like, because, you know, I just lived so savagely for so long. But yeah, so basically it attracted me to, if this guy could do it, I could do it, right? So, you know, it took time, but when I put everything down, it really uh, changed my life. All these blessings started to come in my life. So yeah, like I was saying, these guys now, they can see like, they know that I'm one of them and they see how my life is blessed and, you know, how I can help them get to that spot too, if they want it, right? So it's just something that I'm the right guy for, and, you know what I mean? So, so you were probably living kind of in and out of, of properties like this. Oh, South. definitely, definitely. Yeah, it's all for the, yeah, I've been through all the circuit. <laughs> so like I said, I had friends down there that I knew a lot of the owners and a lot of owners are recovery as well, so yeah, it's just always something I really want to do. And then in Jersey, it's not like South Korea at all. Um, up here, you know, there's a handful of them. There's not down there. There's millions of them, so um, it's definitely moved up here for them. So I saw that, and yeah, I'm glad I uh, took that step. So this guy that was, you know, bringing you to the meetings and stuff in the Lexus, was he a yeah. was he a, a home operator himself? No, he was just he was just one of the guys in the program, but like, you know, he he's just one of those guys that, that you meet that really want to help you with no strings attached, right? Like these guys you meet on the street, right? It's like, what do you have? If you don't have anything, buy, right? So like, he knew I didn't have anything, but that's how these guys are in this, in this program. You know, they really got their hearts out to help people, even though like you're not in a position to help them back, so. And he was just like me at one time, right? So, and uh, so once I seen that, like I was like before, if he could do it, I could do it. And that's, that's where I want to be because I can't live like this no more. I mean, end up dead in prison for life. So 
thank God I made that choice to change my life. Yeah, congrats. A lot of people don't. Yeah, I appreciate that. So the guy in the program seems like he was probably pretty well off and that was like, it kind of made it real for you. Yeah, yeah, he was doing very well. And yeah, it just gave me hope, I guess you could say, because I was just so hopeless for so long, you know. The people that were in that life, you understand, like, hope is a big thing. Peace of mind is like one of my greatest gifts today, you know. It's a lot of small things people take for granted, but like, if you've been in those positions, like, just really grateful, you know, for uh, small things. Absolutely. I'm guessing like you're kind of one of your motivations is kind of be like what that guy was to you. You want to be for for the guys. It, you know, for exactly. Them. Yeah. So that's what I do. You know, I um, like I said, I'm recovery, so I go to meetings. I, I give them rise of meetings. I'm sponsoring a guy in the house right now. Yeah, I'm really there for them. And, um, you know, it takes the right person to do that. But, you know, I enjoy it. The fact of the matter is 80 percent of the guys won't make it. But the one or two that does, you know, that's it really means a lot. Yeah, those are the real riches. That's what we talk about. Like you'll see yeah. sometimes in like the emails and the blog posts and stuff, you'll see. And you, you kind of hit the nail on the head. Not everybody that comes into these homes are gonna like turn their lives around, but we do it for the folks that really are gonna you know, work their programs or rehab or what have you. And those that's that's what you know really drove Andy was like the letters or the text messages that he gets from someone that was living in one of his properties and they've completely turned their lives around. So, yeah, it's amazing. Um, very cool. Want to learn more about the future real estate? Sign up for your free training material at www.groupomeriches.com.